Hi everybody, it's Michelle and today I want to give you a look at the brand new 2020 versions of the Awesome Planners. This is a 15 month planner, which means that it begins in October. So starting October 1st, you can start using this planner and use it all the way through the end of December of 2020. So the way the OneNote planners are put together is that they are in this system. It's a folder system with a planner on the pages. So here we have the first section, which is 2020, and this has just the yearly overview section plus all of the bonus pages that are in the planner. So you have your top page, you have a yearly overview, and you have your six months on the two page spread. You can use this as an index or to keep track of days off you have during the year, you know, vacations, that type of thing, or just track things on a daily basis here. And it comes the entire year. So you have January through June, and then July through December. In the bonus section, you have a today page and this you can copy this page and put it into the planner anywhere you want to add in today pages when you need a full page to plan out your day. It also comes with undated weeklies. If for some reason you wanted to add in another weekly calendar here, this is the hourly spread. You can do that. Also, it comes with the vertical layout here. This is what I like to use a lot for doing daily logs because I may not necessarily need an entire page for a whole day, but this plenty of room here where I can keep daily logs if I'm keeping like a bullet journal style in the planner. So this is Monday through Thursday and then Friday through Sunday here with a note section on the side. It also comes in the horizontal format if you wanna keep notes that way. Sometimes I like to add these in just to do maybe some journaling and it's the same way with Monday through Thursday on the other and Friday through Sunday here. And then you have the vertical week spread. And this is kind of like a happy planner setup or Erin Condren where you can section out your day between three different areas and keep track that way. And this is undated and you can, any of these you can just copy and move, copy them into another section in the planner. You also get a meal planning page and there's a dot grid paper lined paper, graph paper, and blank paper. Now all my OneNote planners come with the monthly calendars. They start on a Monday and a lot of people still prefer a Sunday start on their calendar because that's traditionally what we've used here in the US. But I've gotten so used to using Japanese planners that I start my week on a Monday but I know a lot of people don't. So in this OneNote planner, I actually put in all of the calendars from October 2019 through the end of December of 2020 with a Sunday start calendar. So if you don't wanna use the Monday start that is in the planner, all you have to do is copy this and paste it into this month and you can have your Sunday start and just replace the Monday start and use the Sunday start calendar. So they're all here if you want to use the Sunday start. Now I'm demonstrating this on an iPad, which most people will have a tablet set up like this because you can use your stylus, you can write, but these planners can be used on a PC or a Mac or, you know, whatever computer you're using also, just you're not going to be able to have the convenience of writing in your planner like if you were using paper without the stylus. So. There are some, if you have a Surface Pro, you can, you know, kind of go either way, but you do have your pen with the Surface Pro that you can write in your planner. So the setup will look a little bit different, especially on a PC, because I prefer to use the old version of OneNote, which is the 2016, because it has so much more functionality in the app. I know that Microsoft is no longer going to be supporting it, but you can still download it and you, you can get it for free. Or you can get the most recent version of OneNote and put it on your computer. And it'll look more like this. It'll be more of uh, kind of the functionality that comes in the tablet versions of OneNote. So this is what most people are going to see. If you're using an iPad with the OneNote app, then you're going to have a setup like this. 
So this, these are all of my notebooks, all the different things that I have notebooks on, all my personal stuff, everything that I have opened up on this device. So this is this planner right here. So we have, these are the top tier sections, the sections in the planner. So you have the 2020, October 2019. Each month has its own section. So I'm gonna go to October 2019 and show you how it's set up here. The top page is the monthly spread. And like I said, this is a Monday start that you can switch out if you want. And then you go to a dashboard for the month. So you have your goals, tasks, and there's a daily right here where you can keep track of things. Daily highlights for the month, birthdays, holidays, you can keep track of right here on the dashboard. And then there is this weekly spread plus a schedule for each week of the year. So this is week 40, it's horizontal spread. You can keep your notes here, keep your calendar, but then you also get the schedule page, which these are my favorite. If you ever watch any of my videos, you know, these are my absolute favorite way to plan. I love to track and schedule my days and I usually do it after the fact. I'm not sometimes I schedule out things ahead of time but usually I come in here and I track what I'm doing I color code everything and this is how I keep my calendar now a lot of people do like to block plan for the week these are perfect for block planning the times run from 7 to 8 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and there's a section at the top where you can put in like task or whatever you, I have top three up here and then task and notes down at the bottom and then there's still a section over here for notes so this runs the same way for every month that is in this planner. So November, then it starts here, January of 2020, and it runs all the way through December of 2020. Now these planners come in this teal. They also come in black. And this year I have a rose gold planner. So these are the OneNote planners that are available in the shop now. So you can go and make sure that if you sign up for my list, then you can get a $5 discount code and that will come to you in the email and you just pop the discount code when you're doing the checkout and you get $5 off of your order. So the links will all be down below in the description where you can go over to the shop and see all the planners. Because I do have the OneNote planners, but I have also released the entire line of Good notes planners for 2020 also I know a lot of people were missing those because I did not do any for the academic year but they are there for 2020 and they are also 15 month planners so if you have any questions about these just put it down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible you guys have a great day and I will see you next time